So let's talk about hedonism. Uh, you know, hedonism is one of those things that is it's actually a bad word. It's a bad, it's a bad thing in this reality to be hedonistic. Um, and to me, hedonism is, it is about the pursuit of pleasure and, um, somewhere along the road, you know, a lot of, I think from a lot of religions being distorted and imposed upon us, um, hedonism and the pursuit of pleasure, the seeking of pleasure became synonymous with being immoral and bad and wrong and all these things. And, but why would you want to be here on this beautiful, pleasurable planet and not have pleasure as your reality? Um, so for me, hedonism is about choosing pleasure and actually choosing it all day long, every day. Um, in, in a way, it may be a muscle that you need to also develop um, because we're so used to proving our worth and our value by, um, you know, sacrificing and giving ourselves up and making ourselves wrong and like foregoing all the things that we would like to have in the name of other people. And yet that that doesn't tend to create joy in people's worlds. And when you don't have joy, you can't have pleasure and you also aren't actually contributing to the world being a greater place. The world becomes a greater place when people are happy and enjoying their lives. And if you aren't happy and enjoying your life, you're the, you're the only person for whom you have control of that. Uh, you're the only person who you can choose for. You can choose to give yourself up. You can choose to seek pleasure. You can choose to do things that bring you joy. Um, and you can also just choose the energy of joy and pleasure and ease and glory as the space that you live from. And the funny thing is, is that there's a lot of ways we can find hedonistic, you know, things and activities and all of that. And, and the more that I've chosen to play with that energy of hedonism, hedonism and, and seeking pleasure, the more I realize that it really is an inside job. And yes, I do lots of amazing things with my body and for my body. I, you know, get massages, I get body work, I get energy work, I do fun movement things that feel really good for my body. I I'm kind of like, why would you put something in your mouth that didn't taste really good <laughs> that your body wasn't really excited about? Um, and sometimes the taste of something is not actually, um, you know, it's not what your body actually wants. So that's a different thing. Um, but for me, it's like, it's like choosing things that enliven my body and make it you know, come alive and, and give my body the sensation of pleasure is one of the ways that I started to play more with hedonism in everyday living. And, and then from there, it's like the, that energy starts to kind of like pervade everything. And, and that's for me where I've seen myself really kind of like slip into the space that is actually the being of hedonism. So it's not, it becomes so much less about what am I doing? What am I like, am I doing pleasurable things, you know? Um, and really just like, do I have the pleasure of being alive? Do I have the pleasure of being in my body right now? Am I enjoying the sensations in my body right now? Am I enjoying having a body, you know, and, um, and does that, and that becomes like, for me, it's become this energy that like informs everything I do. It weaves its way through every moment. Um, I, I really actually dynamically enjoy my body most of the time. Um, most of my waking and even sleeping moments, um, I'm enjoying the sensations of my body and, the aliveness of it. And it, it, whether I'm getting a massage or not, or eating chocolate or not, or, you know, whatever that may be, it's like, that's sort of just a fun little bonus, but I get to have the pleasure of moving, of breathing, of right now, like even the, my, the vibration of my voice is pleasurable in my body. Um, 
and just being relaxed and engaging with people and engaging with the earth and the world, that's all pleasurable. And um, there's so much pleasure that's available in the simplest, smallest things that we don't think about. And when you start to have hedonism as a way of being and a way of living, um, that space begins to pervade everything and it just becomes your reality.